Dear friends, in 1978, we at Sepulk decided to embark on a flight with our butterfly of creativity and solidarity, inviting disadvantaged groups in our country, native people, peasants, women, workers from the countryside and from the city, to dare to break the silence imposed on them by the mass media, and with their own butterflies of creativity, to fly with us throughout the country of human rights and liberty toward transformation of this society of inequality and oppression. Many disadvantaged groups throughout Colombia and Latin America accepted our invitation, and with our help, were able to give life to their own butterflies of creativity through different languages, such as written journalism, radio, visual arts, both through photography and video, graphic arts, as well as theater, puppets, music, and dance. Beginning from their own reality and using the methodology of learning by doing, which is the foundation of our training processes in our workshops, the groups discovered their ability to recreate the social reality in which they were living through critical analysis by putting together a theatrical play, a poster, a brochure, a newspaper, a puppet show, or a photographic series. The butterfly of creativity helped these groups understand that they had rights and gave them reasons to commit to the transformation of a reality that traditionally had denied them as citizens and as communities. It also showed them that within those rights was the right to have free access to communication and information media, to speak with their own voice about their struggles, their problems, their hopes. In other words, they discovered that they could have authentic communication that would promote values of peace, justice, and social interaction. That is to say, popular communication and information. In 1982, the first workshop on journalism and popular communication was held. That event gave birth to the magazine Encuentro, currently on number 126 and in its 28th year of existence. It is there that managing information with a popular focus is most reflected. Groups that participate in our trainings write articles for this section entitled Circular Communication whose name signifies the exchange of information from the grassroots. In the journey of our butterfly, we at Sepalk also realized that there were sectors within the grassroots groups and organizations that needed to create their own butterflies to reaffirm and reclaim their rights that had continued to be ignored, excluded, or distorted by the dominant culture in our country. For that reason, since 1992, we have created a series of specific programs, such as 1. Children's Popular Communication and Information Directed towards girls and boys and groups affected by social exclusion or discrimination. 2. Popular Women Directed toward women from urban and rural areas who are victims of a male chauvinist and patriarchal culture. 3. Ecumenism, in which we aim to promote the process of unity, peace, tolerance, and solidarity between different Christian churches in the country. 4. Popular history and current events, which has contributed the most to diffusing information with a popular focus and in this way has contributed to heightened awareness of national problems. With these new programs, our butterfly gains strength with new colors and new experiences. Through our work with girls and boys, we rediscovered the value of key elements in constructing a society of peace and authentic liberty, such as tenderness, happiness, and hope. From workshops that emphasize children's rights and social values, the children have revealed to us a new vision of our society, family, education, and social integration thanks to languages such as art, theater, puppets, radio, and television. They have taken for themselves a language and methodology that promotes mediation and reconciliation in conflicts they face daily in their neighborhoods, homes, and schools.
And if we talk about work with groups of women, our butterfly discovered with admiration the immense strength and capacity for devotion, love, and sorority that they have, and that a patriarchal tradition has ignored, manipulated, and silenced through centuries of male chauvinism and darkness. With our thinking-feeling methodology, the women participants in our training processes have learned to break down barriers of fear and discrimination, to take hold of their rights in different facets of social life, and to fight for respect and for their own advancement without fear of censure and retaliation from representatives of the patriarchal society. What is more, in recent years we have emphasized fundamental themes such as the fight for true equality between genders and for women to become true advocates for their rights in their communities. They have even become managers at community radio stations, relaying information through the eyes of a woman. In addition, our butterfly has committed to denouncing and exposing all the forms of violence against women that proliferate in Colombian society and mass media. But attention friend, all these projects have been carried out without leaving aside our principal objective, which is to promote true communication and information from the grassroots, the poor, and the victims of war and social injustice in our country. That's why we have given the greatest importance in these years to the work of formation and assessment of grassroots journalists with ties to alternative means of communication, such as community radio stations and local television channels. In our processes, we have trained dozens of journalists of all ages and social categories, men and women, so that radio and television stations can produce and emit their own programs with a fresh, critical and hopeful vision of their local, regional, and national reality. We have encouraged them to form statewide networks of journalists and radio and television producers to become new social actors with true ability for dialogue and administration in their regions in defense of the democratization of the mass media, a key point in constructing an authentic culture of peace of Colombia. We emphasize again it's journalism from the grassroots, from the victims of social conflict with a grassroots and committed viewpoint. No less than 50 community radio stations and 35 television channels with a potential audience of more than 2 million people have benefited from these processes. Dear friends, the flights of our butterfly have been long, full, and not without difficulties. Many would say that it's time to let her rest. Nonetheless, she is encouraged by hope and solidarity, and she insists on continuing her flights, enriching both herself and others on the journey with the values and creativity of a people that, like Colombians, aspire to have the right to construct an authentic democratic society where peace, justice, rights, and liberties are the foundation of social interaction.